I think this may be one of the themes that has a a a kind of broad a broadness to it that that's hard to really kind of put in a box and uh, and uh, and I don't certainly don't want to do that but it has lots of different factors how I have kind of tried to summarize in just a brief statement the essence of connectedness is this it's a global spiritual perspective that produces an integrated holistic practice that's a pretty short summary and I'm not sure you can actually summarize connectedness in a small phrase but that's that's my shot at that um, in terms of words, I think words are so critical. Um, a word that I often hear is integrator, bridge builder, environmentalist, humanitarian, communitarian, unifier, social advocate, seeker are all kind of nouns, some, some adjectives and they kind of go along with these. Uh, integrating, seeking, spiritual, perceptive, mystical, philosophical, counseling, listening, holistic, compassionate. Lots of words, but you kind of get the sense that this one uh, in, in a way feels, kind of stands alone in some ways from other themes. Um, this theme is really a part of the relationship dom uh, dom domain. And I certainly, it has to do, many times I think it has to do with, with people, but I don't think it's just about people. I think it involves uh, integration in lots of different ways. Um, uh, I think the balcony of, of uh, connectedness is this. Spiritual, uh, doesn't sweat the small stuff. Sometimes it's people who have strong faith, and this can be religious faith, it could, can be some other kind of faith. Uh, always looking at the big picture and helping others see uh, the, the purpose to some degree behind that bigger picture. Um, I like to think about, I think themes get clear when you kind of compare them and contrast them with other themes, and I happen to have connectedness fairly high on my profile, um, but I also have analytical, and those two, two are two themes that kind of rub up against each other. There's a kind of a friction. Um, analytical is a bit more about measurement and understanding and under kind of proving the truth, and to some degree, I think connectedness is has a... Uh, thinks that there are some things that are actually big beyond understanding. <laughs> if that uh, it's it's something people who are might have some ability to accept something that they don't completely understand. It's about mystery. I also like to think about uh, these themes in packages, and I think these uh, connectedness is in 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 a couple of packages. Uh, number one, I think it's it's a part of a values package. And I see, a lot of times I see these three themes, belief, responsibility, and connectedness uh, together. And I think they have the, what they have in common are kind of values. Uh, belief is really about someone who values an important cause or purpose. Uh, responsibility is someone who values their commitments to other people. And at the core of connectedness, I think, is someone who values humanity, people the people in the broadest sense of the word, in that global sense of the word. Another package that, that, that I think that connectedness is a part of, it's a package I call the time package. And it's context, which is about the past, past time, uh, adaptability, which is about the present time, futuristic, which is about future time, and then I think connectedness really is is to some degree beyond time and the links between time. There, there's, there's a kind of a, um, it, it embraces all of those things. It embraces the past, the present, and the future. So connectedness is kind of a connector of, of time, if you will. And then finally, I think connectedness really is also part of what I would call either a group or a collaboration package. Um, it, it includes themes like harmony and arranger. Um, let's see if I can find it here. Harmony and arranger. Uh, includer would be a part of that. Consistency. But I think connectedness also brings that it's not us and them. It's, it's us. We. It's, it's, the, it's the group. It's the whole. It's that holistic part. They see and understand the, the, the bigger picture of theme. Some of the uh, kind of things that people are often kind of interested in is uh, how often do people have this 
in their top five. We, we have 12% of people in our present database have connectedness in their top five. So that's kind of ranked about 12th. It's the 12th most frequent theme. Uh, a little more than one out of every 10 people, or one out of 10 out of, out of every, 12 out of every 100 people have it. Uh, the theme that's most likely paired, and this is really not a high percentage, so what that says to me is that I think connectedness can really be paired with a lot of things. But the theme that's the highest is empathy which makes some sense. It's a sensitivity to human emotion and the, the, the value that connectedness brings and has for human humanity. It makes some sense that there would also be a sensitive to that. I think part that really separates humans from other creatures is this emotional, this emotional quality. Um, you know, one of the things I always like to kind of think of... Um, maybe some literature or music. It's interesting, yesterday in the USA Today, I heard that this is the 30th anniversary of that song that was kind of put together by Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie, We Are the World, <laughs> which was this, uh, it was it was a kind of interesting fundraising activity to U.S. for Africa. It was about poverty, but it was bringing together all of these uh, musicians and artists, and they sang this song, but it, it really is a kind of a great, connecting this theme. We ought to probably have that as our background music uh, today. The other thing that I want to just share is a it's a poem that I really like. It's it's written by an, an Englishman by the name of John Don and it's it's called For Whom the Bell Tolls and it's I, I'm gonna just read this because I think it has a connectedness feel to it as well. No man is an island entire of itself. Each is a piece of the continent a part of the main. If a clod be washed away from the sea, Europe is the less, as well as if a promontory were, as well as if a manner of thine own, or if thine friends were. Each man's death diminishes me, for I am involved in mankind. Therefore, send not to know for whom the bell tolls, for it tolls for thee. I think that is a, I, I, John Dunn didn't take the strengths finder, but I think he probably had that kind of perspective 